Hosting camp again this year was kind of a refreshing experience. The past two years have been a little different with COVID and having to just be a little bit more restrictive in the way that we ran things. Um, definitely good to have the energy back on campus, particularly over the summer when things are a little quieter. It's a, it's a good change of pace. Well, to do both a, a day camp week and an overnight camp week uh, and kind of separate that out was uh, both interesting and a good way for us to, to kind of break up camp. And, and we've kind of played around with different ways of doing camp and uh, we'll probably continue to do that. But uh, it was an interesting format this year that I thought uh, proved, proved well. Got to meet a bunch of different kids and just have great experiences with playing games as well as like just getting to teach them and develop them both on the field and off the field. I think a lot of kids play club over the summer and they get a lot of experience playing against other kids, but to really focus in on the skill development is, is, is a little bit ignored um, over the summer a lot of times. and. Uh, we, we wanted to provide an, an environment where we could fine tune some of their skills and use some of our counselors who have kind of needed to develop uh, the skills um, themselves as players um, and just use their, um, their knowledge and experience to help coach these uh, kids coming in. Everything you do, do it with a purpose. Um, don't just go through the motions of passing, catching, make sure you're stepping into your passes and doing everything the right way. I think being able to have this, the lacrosse sessions and being able to break it up with some of the more fun, um, kind of unique things that this place has to offer um, is, has been a good format for us. We're able to stay in the Commons dorms with the overnight campers, which was where I stayed when I was a student, so that was really cool to show them like a little bit what it's like, even for a couple days, what it's like to be a Liberty student, and uh, they get to have curfew and everything, which is fun, and uh, it was just really cool to uh, go over to La Haye and we played basketball and got to experience a lot of the cool facilities that Liberty has to offer. We don't advertise as, as recruitment camps. Uh, we have a lot of different recruiting opportunities throughout the year, but I think for anybody who is interested in, in the university, whether it be to play lacrosse at or uh, just to attend as a student. This year was a success, and we look forward to continuing to run camps in the in the future, um, hopefully making it even more conducive to um, specific age groups, and uh, and hopefully potentially adding um, further uh, additional weeks of, of camp in the future. I think as we continue to grow the sport, not only in um, Lynchburg but just just this part of the country, we continue to see more and more kids wanting to play the sport and wanting to learn more about the sport. And, um, we're obviously not unique in the fact that we offer a lacrosse camp and there's lots of lacrosse camps to choose, but uh, I think that Liberty is able to offer um, something that I think is pretty unique and with the spiritual component and um, having a chance to have um, our faith be a part of not only camp, but um, just kind of how we operate from a day-to-day -day basis, I think is, is one of the things that kind of sets us apart.